What is up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So today I have a current favorites video for you. I have been slacking on the favorites videos, like very, very much so. I wanted to stick to doing a favorites video every month, but that just kind of like fell off a little bit, but you know, I'll get it back. I'll get it back sometime. I don't know when, we'll see. But anyway, because I haven't done one in a little while, I've had plenty of time to kind of gather some more favorites. So I've got quite a few favorites to go through here. So before we get started, as always, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below, along with all of my personal links as well. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first favorite that I have is the Tula Multispectrum Overnight Skin Rescue Treatment. So I've been using Tula products for about a year, maybe over a year, somewhere around a year now, and I absolutely love them. So I've already talked about like my core products that I use for Tula in one of my past videos, but this I actually saw on the website and I was like, hmm, I feel like that's something that I could use because I moved back to Colorado and if you don't already know, Colorado is very, very dry. And also I'm at that age now, I'm 25, I'm halfway through my 20s. So I'm at that age where I feel like I should start doing a little bit more anti-aging stuff. So I saw this product on the Tula website and I was like, yeah, I need to have that. So basically it's a mixture of probiotics, AHAs, retinol, and botanical extracts. So it's super, super hydrating and it has anti-aging benefits as well. And I seriously have noticed such a huge difference since I started incorporating this into my skincare routine. Basically, once my face is all washed and toned at the end of the day, I put this on and just leave it on overnight. And I wake up and I feel like my skin just looks more like rejuvenated and youthful. I don't know, I've always been like a skeptic with that kind of thing. I'm like, how much could a product really do for anti-aging, but like, no. No, no, this is legit and it's also so, so hydrating. Like I use the other products and I have the other products, but this has hydrated my skin more than anything else. So I am obsessed, highly recommend. I do have a discount code with Tula, it's Shannon H. If you wanna try anything, you can always use that. I'll put that right down here and of course in the description box below. But yes, this is now my favorite Tula product and I cannot live without it. Up next are these Everly drink mixes. So I'm the kind of person that I just forget to drink enough water throughout the day. I like, I really do. So I'm always seeking out products that flavor my water to make it taste good, to make me like want to drink it, that are also affordable as well because there's plenty of like supplements and stuff, but they have other stuff in them that you don't necessarily always need. And I also, if you've watched any of my past videos, you know that I like to avoid artificial stuff, artificial sweeteners. So that knocks out a lot of products out there. Like it knocks out most of the like crystal light and the Mio and the stuff like that. Like I've tried all that before, but like I feel like if it's something that I'm using every single day, maybe sometimes multiple times a day. I don't want it to have artificial stuff in it. So these are naturally sweetened and they are so good. They taste incredible. I can't even tell that they're naturally sweetened. So they're sweetened with erythritol and stevia and they have flavors that don't have caffeine and that do have caffeine. So if you need a little bit of an extra boost, you got the ones that have caffeine. If you just want to drink it regularly, they have ones that don't have it. So I absolutely love these and I'm obsessed with these and I need to order more flavors. Up next is a product that I have talked about a few times on Instagram, but I've never talked about on YouTube before. It is the Fanola No Yellow Purple Shampoo. So this stuff is incredible. So I always usually get a bleach and tone or highlights for my hair and I love being a blondie and I don't think I'll ever like let my roots grow out. My roots are probably like dirty blonde. I don't know, I've always been blonde my whole life, but they'd probably be pretty dirty blonde at this point. But I like being like blonde blonde, but I don't like the like yellow brassy, like it looks like you just got your hair bleached, like that kind of blonde. I don't like that, I want to avoid that. So I first started using this in, I wanna say like May. I had just gotten my hair dyed and it was so blonde. Like I walked out of the salon and I was like, I look like Aaron Carter right now. I don't know why that was the first person to come to mind, but like, you know, those people in the early 2000s that got like the highlights and they just had that like bleached blonde hair that like looks like pee. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds so bad. 
<laughs> but like that is the color that I'm talking about the like super bright yellow brassy color so I first actually bought a purple shampoo from a store and I used it and it didn't do anything and then I got this one and with one use my hair was like back to a good color so this stuff it is strong it is actually like super super potent so I would say the first time that you use it don't leave it on for too long because if you do leave it on for too long and your hair is super super light it can actually give your hair a purple tint unless you want a purple tint then leave it on for as long as you want I guess but what this does basically is it takes that like yellowy color out of your hair and makes it more of like a icy kind of like ashy silvery blonde and that is a blonde that I like and I always go for but sometimes in the salon they just can't like tone it the right way that I want them to so I always turn to this if I don't get the color that I want in the salon and this is incredible I would say definitely don't use this more than like once a week because it is very very potent so it's probably quite harsh on your hair and I've heard that you should not use purple shampoo all the time but if for some reason your hair just starts to look a little like yellowy and grassy just use this baby one time and it will fix all of your problems like right then and there so I love this up next switching gears from hair care I have a barbell pad here so the gym that I go to right now does not have a barbell pad and at first I was like okay it's fine I'll just like fold up some mats and use those as a pad but like that did not work very well. That did not work at all. Honestly, it hurt my hips. It dug into my hips and your girl will not ever stop doing hip thrusts. Like hip thrusts are they. Hip thrusts are where it's at. If you want to grow the booty, do hip thrusts. So those are always a part of my leg day routine. So it was not working for me not having a barbell pad. So I got on Amazon and I was like, let me just see how much it would be. This was $9, $9. So I was like, all right, here we go, and it's perfect. It works so well, I can fit it in my gym bag, I can just like kind of take it out of my gym bag if it's not leg day and I don't want too much stuff in my bag, but it works so well, and it's also mine, so I know like, it's only me that's been using it, because when you think about it, gyms are kind of a gross place, they're kind of a dirty place, so when you use a lot of that like equipment that other people have used, like I don't know about you, but sometimes I've seen barbell pads that are like, they're not looking so hot. And I'm like, that's kind of gross. Like it looks like there's a lot of germs and just like grossness on there. Whereas if you have your own pad, you know, it's only been you and I guess the barbell that's been touching it. So highly, highly recommend getting yourself a barbell pad if you don't have one already. My next favorite is the Flapjacked Mighty Muffin. So basically these are high protein muffins that all you have to do is add water and pop it in the microwave for like 45 seconds to a minute to cook them. And they also have probiotics in them as well. And they are so good. Like I've tried every flavor all the flavors are good, but you know, your girl really likes chocolate and peanut butter. So this flavor is chocolate peanut butter and it's my absolute favorite. It actually has like chocolate chips and peanut butter chips in there that like melt and it's all gooey and it's just, oh my gosh, these are so good. I feel like this is awesome as a pre-workout snack or a post-workout snack. So the macros, because I'm sure people will ask, 240 calories, eight grams of fat, 22 grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein. So honestly, it's very, very similar to the macros of like a protein bar, but it's a muffin. It's kind of like, I guess like a mug cake. You could call it that too, but these are so good and I love them. So they sell these at some grocery stores. I pick mine up at the grocery store. They also sell them at nutrition shops like GNC or like vitamin shop. And they also sell them on Amazon. So of course I link everything down below on Amazon because Amazon is day. Amazon's the easiest way to do things. Honestly, I should order these in bulk on Amazon. I don't know why I don't do that, but I probably will now. But anyway, yes, highly recommend. So good. Love them. The next favorite that I have are these blue light blocking glasses. So I'm the kind of person who is almost always on my phone and my computer, which actually can have a really, really negative effect on your sleep, especially if you're on your phone or computer right before bed, which a lot of times I am. <laughs> so I saw a couple of my friends got blue light blocking glasses and they work super, super well. I've actually had blue light blocking glasses before, but they were like the like orange, huge, like they look like you're gonna go work at like a construction site or something. I don't know. They were just not very cute. So like naturally me, I'm like, these just look ridiculous. I don't wanna wear them. So I found these guys for 20 bucks on Amazon and I, absolutely love them. Let me just put them on for you really quick. 
I think they're pretty cute. Oh, that glare though. But yeah, like I'm not a glasses wearer. I don't have glasses and I've never had glasses before, but I really, really like these. The design of them, they're tortoise shell and I guess they're like kind of similar shaped like a Ray-Ban Wayfarer. Of course I compare them to sunglasses because I know nothing about glasses, but I have found, I've been using these for like a month now and I definitely think they've helped. I've been falling asleep a lot easier and staying asleep, so I think that they're helping. So if you are like me and you're on your computer or your phone all the time and you want to block some of that blue light out, I highly recommend getting yourself a pair of blue light blocking glasses. So the last favorite that I have is the Remington Pro Curling Wand. So I got this on Amazon for $20. Your girl loves Amazon, like that is my place. That is where I get most of my stuff because it's just easy, you got Prime, you get it like in two days, it's just the best. So basically, I am actually so terrible at doing anything like beauty related, makeup and hair. I shouldn't say I'm terrible, but like I just don't know a whole lot and I'm like, I can't really be bothered to do much because I just get overwhelmed really easily and I'm like, I don't have time for this. I don't know what I'm doing, moving on. So I am 25 years old and I just learned how to curl my own hair. Round of applause for Shannon. <laughs> I don't know, it's always just been something like, I've had curling irons in the past, but they always had like a clamp on them and I just, it never worked for me. I don't know why, I could never figure it out. Maybe I'm just not patient enough, I just, it was not for me. So I kept hearing people say that you need a barrel curler or like a wand curler. And I got my hair cut and the girl who cut my hair, she styled it and did kind of like loose beachy waves. And I was like, I really, really like that. And I think I just need to learn how to do it. I need to sack up and teach myself how to do it. So I was like, I don't really want to buy a super expensive curling wand when I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do this or not. So I was like, all right, Amazon, let's see what you got. This one had incredible reviews and it was only $20. So I got it and I can actually use it. I've been using this all the time and it's so, so easy. Maybe I'll do like a hair tutorial or something, which would be hilarious because like I said, I don't know anything about hair, but I can show you how to do it. Well, these, these waves are like a day old and I slept on them but whatever. But basically, all you do, you turn it on, you turn it upside down, you take a portion of your hair, you wrap it around like that, you leave the end off, you leave it on there for like uh, 30 seconds or so, and then you just let it out and it like curls it. So easy peasy. That was beautiful, I'm sure, but. <laughs> But yes, I highly recommend getting yourself a barrel curler or a wand because they are so, so easy to use. And if you wanna create those like loose beachy waves, this will do it for you. So that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a lot more videos coming your way soon. As always, if you have suggestions for videos that you want me to film, please leave those down below. I'm kind of wanting to switch things up a little bit and do more than just favorites videos and hauls. YouTube has kind of been my outlet lately for like fashion content, but I think I want to start introducing a little bit more fitness content. I want to put some in-depth workouts on here and I also want to do some like challenges and stuff like that. Maybe some Q&As. I don't know. Kind of want to mix it up a little bit. So let me know what you would like to see and I will get started on those. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye guys.